Malcolm, and Malco, Newman's Malco and Johnson. We handle South Carolina workers' compensation cases, and many clients ask us, what benefits am I entitled to under the South Carolina workers' compensation system? You're entitled to three benefits, and let me tell you a little bit about those. First is lost wages. An employer will calculate your average weekly wage based on the prior year's earnings. They'll divide it by 52 and you will get an average weekly wage. You get two thirds of those benefits. So the employer will calculate your average weekly wage and then they will times it by two thirds. In the cap in South Carolina in the year 2021, the most you can get is $903. No work. Or doctor says light duty work, an employer cannot accommodate. Those benefits. Once a doctor says full duty, the income benefits will stop. The maximum amount of benefits you can get in South Carolina is 500 weeks. The second benefit you're entitled to under South Carolina workers' comp law is medical benefits. The employer and insurance company has total control of what doctor that treats you. So the employer controls this and Basically, an injured worker has to go to the physician that the employer directs them to. Under rare circumstances, lawyers can petition the commission to switch doctors or ask for second opinions. And if a doctor is not treating a patient fairly, then many times uh, uh, a petition will be made to switch doctors or have a second opinion, and it'll be granted by a commissioner. The medical benefits extend to, to the injured worker is at maximum medical improvement. They're as good as they're gonna get. The doctor can't get them any better. Once this happens, medical benefits stop. The third benefit is a permanent disability rating. When the doctor tells the patient they're at maximum medical improvement, the right to income benefits will stop. And then a disability rating will be awarded to the injured worker. A doctor will give an impairment rating according to a book called the AMA Guidelines to Permanent Impairment in a, in a, an award and assign an impairment rating to the injured worker. Then a commissioner can add a percentage to that based on the claimant's disability as well. A claimant can take this permanent disability rating negotiated with an insurance company or awarded by a commissioner and leave their case open for one year and leave their medical benefits open for one year after coming to terms with the permanent disability rate. Or a claimant can uh, enter into a final settlement called a clincher to close the entire case out and not leave it open for a year. If you have any questions about your South Carolina workers' compensation case, we'd be happy to talk with you. Please give us a call.